Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Pop on over. Oh, you got it all set up. Oh, cute little guys. Hello, Look everyone. Oh my gosh. It us. It's us. a lot of people. <laughs> hello, hello, Josh. Josh, hello. Welcome. Thanks oh, hey, for tuning Josh. in. I hope you guys are all ready for some game dev chicanery and yes. voice acting and and organized chaos. The best, organized best chaos. kind of stuff, yeah. I'm trying to find my, oh, there it is, my library. All right, cool. Um, I should probably get sharing my screen soon, but I'm gonna download the game. So um, we get these final moments of setup. Do we wanna do a super quick introduction of our studios and what we're gonna be doing today? Yeah, that would yes. be good. <laughs> um, I think, Everyone tuning in should basically know us, um, the the box of mushrooms peeps. So, but if not, I'm Denguino. I'm one of the programmers. Um, I also do hey. some sound stuff. So I was about to say, <laughs> and and marketing. Yeah. And marketing. Yeah. Marketing. We all wear a lot of hats. So. <laughs> Honestly, that's just the life of an indie person. It's true. When yeah. you're an indie person, you, you you stack those hats until they fall like the hot dogs in Undertale. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I don't get the reference, but I now I want to play Undertale it, more. I gotta... Wait, wait, what? You don't know the reference? Uh... No, Fish and I haven't <laughs> played Undertale. I, I don't know. Gosh, it's you really guys are game devs and you haven't played Undertale. I know. I, I, shame, I, shame. Go to, go to the I shame corner. I feel mm -hmm. this pain every day. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get to, to, to the one feeling pain, uh, real quick, is there still an option to download? I don't think there is. There should be. Uh, no, not with the recent build. Oh. Okay. Oh. For the H so, okay, so I just have to play through it in one go. That's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's what we're it's doing. Speed run, speed run, speed run. Let me double check that. I'm, I'm going to play it at the, the, has, oh. the speed. Or I think speed. at least don't close the, the page. Yeah, okay, got it. Oh. As long as I can share it uh, when it's running. I think I still can. Hold up one second. Katie is lost. <laughs> Katie is trying to get over here. Okay. I, um, I didn't give her the permission to oh, okay. talk to us. There. Katie? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Yay! Okay, Sorry okay, for we're that. All here. <laughs> we should be good to start in a second now. <laughs> all right. All right. Now that all the scooter speeds are here, I can also introduce us. Do yes. It. So, my name's Sasha. I'm the writer and the composer, and also the certified insane person here who um, makes crazy <laughs> stories happen by digging into my brain for third grade <laughs> memories and turning it into a game. So, that's me. That works. Nice. 
Right. What about you, Katie? Who are you? Oh, wait. I already spoiled it. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, you got me. Yeah. Hey, I'm Katie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Wait. Well, hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katie, that? you, sound, you <laughs> sounded different like three seconds ago. Yeah, uh, I, I have a, two different voices. Function. Yeah, it's um, it's really a struggle sometimes. Uh, yeah, we have to share the same brain. It's a huge pain. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, All right. Which... Well, I guess I'll. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Katie. I do all the art for Scudo Speed, and that's it. <laughs> well. You, that's a super short but super sweet introduction showing how quick your workflow goes and how much we appreciate it. Even I these portraits you guys see on the screen way. would not be possible without your amazing skill. True. Uh, they rad. Yeah. Thanks. And then I am Josh, uh, also Jordan Liver, um, one and the same. Uh, I do wow. uh, primarily programming and design work, um, but also a bunch of other indie hats. Uh, alongside that, uh, and yeah, rad, nice engine that keeps scooter speed speeding till the end of speed turnity. <laughs> yeah, till we speed, speed no more. Oh, oh. We speed oh no gosh, it's <laughs> got really, really dark real quick. <laughs> when when we've scooted our last scoot. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh. And wow. yeah, the project that we're going to be all going over today is the game that we are currently developing for our first ever full Steam release right now. This is just the proof of concept, the type of demo for it. So uh, the story is there, the characters are there, the combat is going to be super cool and super developed in the main game. Like like Josh has been working on it. It is next level. All I can say is it's, it's going to be amazing. But we're still here to have a good old third grade dream world fighting time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm pretty stoked because I'm uh, pumped. Because uh, I'm 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 Fish Kies over here. This is my voice. I'm gonna be playing it. Um, Ooh, and we're gonna see if my share screen works. Let's do it for the sound mainly. That's, yeah, that's that's always the question. Oh, yeah. All it's right. always finicky with the browser. Right. I think it should work. Fingers crossed. Watching the stream. Watching the stream. Okay. Stream. Uh... Oh. Load it up. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, I hear sounds. Hey. You screen. got nice. All right. Let me swap over to that. Lovely. I can hear the sound. Oh. Yep. Yep. I. I hear it fine. Um, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Looks like the people in the stream can hear it as well. Thank you, Josh. Woo! Awesome. awesome. I am excited. Oh my gosh! Hi, Magic! Hi, Magic Blue! Hello. Thank you so much for tuning in! Hello! Hi, Magic Blue Horse. Welcome. That's such a cool name. That is. Oh, I like the music already. I do, too. Thank you! I do need to give you guys a little disclaimer that this, the music in this game, I'm, it's not my best work. <laughs> like, you know, Whoa. I've talked before, I've talked, I've said before how um, Tour of the Deep was kind of like my high point where I was like super proud of what I did. This coming straight after it was kind of a low point for me where I kept hitting composer's block and just wasn't happy with anything I was writing. So I did my best. I put it together, but in the main game, most of the tracks are going to change, just keeping a few motifs here and there. Nonetheless, I do think I did a pretty decent job pulling it off, all things considered, so I'd still be more than happy to talk about the development process if anything sounds interesting, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Well, um, also, if you are, guys are curious, there's two recycled tracks from previous Scooter Speed games, and if you can find them, you get a gold star. Ooh, oh, <laughs> oh, challenge. Yeah. I, I would also like to add a disclaimer. Uh, this is like a month old build, um, and I haven't touched it for a bit. Uh, I've seen some of the gifts that you posted on the, the stuff you're working on. And yeah. Awesome. Yeah, the stuff you're working on looks great. Lots I don't know the context stuff. to it yet because I haven't played this demo. So this is cool. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really, so this really is very read. much, I would call, the best description would probably be proof of concept uh, to yeah. see if we could pull off the uh, overall pacing of it. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that we have planned for it that is not in here. This is just like the very, very bare bones concept of our game. But yeah. um, it, what is it, Katie? I said yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to give us a disclaimer too. I mean, just, uh, yeah, in, in general, yeah, it's, uh, there's, there's, uh, a lot more, like, uh, backgrounds and stuff we're, we're planning for, for different specific scenarios. It's gonna be a blast. <laughs> and there's our boy! What should we name him? Should we name him something serious, or should we name him something meme-worthy? Hmm. Renee. I don't know. He looks like a Renee to me. <laughs> oh, whoa. Wow, that's, that's such a cool name. Character now? Look what at a crossover. Yes. <laughs> you see that winter coat? That's, that's pretty. Yeah, I think it's Winter sweat sweatshirt. Mm, yeah. That's For good. anyone it's who might not know, because Ellen yeah. in a winter coat is Box of Mushrooms Amazing Game with Renee being the protagonist. So this is just the ultimate crossover. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, so the census is not the gazelle. Oh, nope. That is it. That is his name. Oh, that's okay. it. Yeah. Seven day forecast. All right. right. I gotta remember that. Yeah, it actually right. does play into it. Let's cast this. Oh um, it looks like there's some I need, stretching. Yeah, I need to share this on my other screen, I realize. I have a like square a four by screen three? and then I have a like wide screen. So hold on, oh. let me, let me oh. sure. right. screen it and then switch to the other screen. You so and I your have this. square screen. <laughs> hey, it'll be good to test out <laughs> UI, okay? <laughs> This is a great for time sure. for a sponsor Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have time to for our sponsor, our sponsor Square Screen. <laughs> I like my old Square Dell. I got it from a person in college, and I traded my band's T-shirt for it because I really needed a monitor. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a good trade to me. Right? I think yeah, it's great. T-shirt for a screen? Heck yeah! Depends on the band. Depends on the band, yeah. Mm, there, there was a limited, sure. limited T-shirt run. Right, right that looks That's a lot it. better. That's there we go. Yeah, that looks. That looks. See you tomorrow. Okay, should we cast this? Ooh. We That's need it. to do, we need cast, to cast it as we go. Someone jump in for each person. That's, okay. That's okay, person. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Riley. Renee, wait for me. Sorry, sorry. Gotcha! Now you're it! Hey, no fair! Ha! No tag back till we get to the park! Wait, park today? Ew, no! <laughs> Even if the rain stopped, which it probably didn't, it's gonna be all muddy. He's, he's not looking happy. Oh no. He's a very serious little third grade boy. Oh. Oh, yeah. A doy? That just makes it funner. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Last one there is a rotten potato. It's <laughs> oh, good. Hey, first one to say that is a rotten walrus. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> Try and catch me, sucker. <laughs> That was me That's just clearing great. my throat. That's, Sorry, I yeah, missed that was a good yeah. <laughs> Spot on. Come on. Oh, we did see the weather forecast. Mm. Told you so. No fair. Stupid rain. He is not dressed for the rain, is she? Hey, <laughs> Katie, do you want to do you want to be Alex and do you want to give him a Russian accent, even though he doesn't actually have a Russian accent? Yes. Okay. Mm. Her Russian accent is not my forte, so he, he will probably turn Czech. Yes. <laughs> Go away. Huh? That's not how the song goes, Renee. Didn't you go to kindergarten? That wasn't me. We need that voice sniffle. line, Kate. Anybody? <laughs> question mark, question mark. All at once. <laughs> Asterisk. <laughs> there. Isn't that Alex from our class? What's he doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> I love the illustration. Yeah. What a character. Poof, what a baby. 
Why is he acting so weird? It's just a storm. Just a stupid tag ruining storm. Mm, I know. Let's play tag in the dream world tonight. Whoa. Hey, yeah, it never rains in there. Uh -huh. Plus, you'll never catch me once I activate the scooter speed. Uh -oh. oh, my. That's a reference. We, we got our scooter thing. drop in there. Is that the thing? I so understood that reference. <laughs> oh, dang. We'll see about that. They said the name. Indeed. Come on, the sooner we get home, the sooner we can play. The less wet we get. See you there. Bye, Riley. <laughs> 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 Mom, please hurry. <laughs> I hope he's okay. I'm not laughing or anything. <laughs> oh man. And that's when we get to enter the dream world. A little lock star. Uh, hello. Yeah. Oh, hey, such Lockstar. a difference. Oh. You can oh. never tell. Huh. That's weird. This music's good. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, this music. I like it. It's very catchy. I better go find Riley. Can you believe this? Never mind, found you. <laughs> <laughs> the weather's <laughs> in here today, too. <laughs> I think that was too short up. Yeah. <laughs> it had to be longer. At least like three seconds. <laughs> so the dream world can have weather like the real world? You know, no. This is definitely a first. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you know what's weird? What? That purple dot. No way. <laughs> look at the lightning bolt. Doesn't it kind of look like it's leading somewhere? Pointing right towards that door. Exactly. That's where it's coming from. Come on, let's go check it out. Together Honestly, with one body. Let's do it. Honestly, writing the dialogue for this game was oh. such a blast. Like, oh. it made me kind of go back towards my third grade mind. Like, even going back to that rotten potato, rotten walrus line, the best thing about writing third graders is you don't really have to do any sort of research. You basically just have to dig into the depths of your brain and yeah. be like, what sounds weird enough to be true? Yep. <laughs> yeah. And the, the, the third grader within... The third grader within. I mean, I basically am a certified third grader, so. Oh boy. Oh, we oh, got combat. Battle time. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. Oh, those things look way mean. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. Nightmare. They're looking yeah, too mean. Let's Katie, run away. would you would you like to tell any sort of inspiration nope. behind what made you made the, make these things so scary? <laughs> I don't know. I just like a, like making really horrifying creatures. I, it's it's one of my favorite things oh, to draw. Respect. Yeah. I, I love the spooky looks. Ooh. Hey, Magic, I'm so glad you like the sprites. Honestly, um, Katie did such a good job envisioning them just from the descriptions. We had a bit of an issue at first where, like, getting them right was a little bit difficult just because third graders are kind of hard to draw young but also make them like old enough to be doing like combat stuff but eventually katie i think you done nailed it yeah thank you oh, <laughs> You're i welcome. like portraits too a whole lot oh it has sound that. effects for a little experience yeah that's cool that's new and to the me. battle music <clears throat> that's yeah. epic oh, that's right so cool. the, the battle music wasn't working before <laughs> <laughs> Deliberately runs into the enemy. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yes. Let's do it. He's ready now. Uh, these, See, these guys you also kind of have to reach yeah. back to your uh, your third grade nightmares, right? So there Ooh. you go. Exactly. Oh, my. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let's uh, let's Riley's not die in the dream her. world. There we go. Oh, oh they're just uh, targeting her. Riley, no. the, the might be targeting her. It's my, oh. Oh, just oh. 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 Yeah, Riley! Wow. Oh, there we go. Hey. Wow, this is amazing! Nice. Y'all got levels yeah, and little, like, awesome. sounds and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like that a... that's the most impressive part, but it just <laughs> makes me feel good. Yeah. You it's know? like a <laughs> sign wave <laughs> that gets pitched up oh. based on, There's... like, the percentage yeah. of... That makes sense. Oh. That's smart, yeah. It's an easy 
T yeah. Totally. It's all just a dream, right? Alright. It was all a dream. <laughs> Let's just keep going. It's just a nightmare. Awakening <laughs> time. Whoa, <laughs> awesome. That's very generous. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> That's definitely not a there hit it point is. anything. <laughs> yeah. What is that thing? Who cares? Let's kill it! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, time to get the thing. The sooner we beat this thing, the sooner the lightning will stop in here. Right? Wait, stop! It has question marks. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, shoot. My oh, sorry. Oh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. full Illusion screen, too. <laughs> I can't run. Doki Doki race car bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no fair. It just killed us. It's no use. Uh, we can't even get near that thing if we don't understand what it is. Oh, I like this music, that's, too. That's Alex again. No. No. Oh, wow. Spoiler. <laughs> what was that? I'll tell you what it is. It's a big, dumb, scary storm monster. We just gotta get stronger and kick it harder. Stop. <laughs> there it is again. It's coming from inside. Yeah, I hear it too. Please, no more. <laughs> it sounds scared. What if I... What are you doing? Hey, big monster? Make it stop! Oh. Wait, Alex? No more! I can't! Dude, do, do you need help? Alex! Oh. Oh, that's some story timing right there. Oh, yeah. No, Josh Alex. missed the combat. That's oh, okay, there'll be more yeah. combat. Yeah, there's some more. Oh, but it's sunny today, so we're good. Nice. Very cool. We're set. I think Josh should be Mrs. Bunman. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, do your best Mrs. Bunman voice. It's just going to turn into Mr. Nezzer. Like, <laughs> it, does, it happens every time. <laughs> I'd like uh, to hear. All right, sit it down, boys <laughs> and girls. This is good. That's good. It's time to continue our fun discovery of clouds. <laughs> so, as a review from last week, who could tell me the three main types of clouds? You uh. sound like Archibald. <laughs> Calling <laughs> stick has chosen. Oh my, oh my goodness. Alexi! <laughs> I told you. Oh. <laughs> Not to call me that. What was that, young man? <laughs> Bunman. Was that one of the three main types of clouds? <laughs> oh boy. I... 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 Well... I don't know any. Oh, for goodness sake! We covered this yesterday! <laughs> My accent is changing! <laughs> Alexia! You're like, what kind of Irish is it? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> else like to help him out? <laughs> Ray! Uh. Oh, what is this? Cirrus? It's Cirrus, yeah. Cirrus. Cumulus and Stratus. Very good. Glad someone remembers. Now today we're going to focus on that cloud that can cause precipitation. Ooh. Can you say press to digitation? <laughs> press to digitation. That will be this one right here. The cumulus cloud. Good old cumulus. Classic. Looked so innocent and fluffy, right? Well, this little. When droplets of water start to circulate. Whoops. <laughs> well. Hey, Sasha and Katie. Oh my gosh, that's uh -oh. us. Girls, uh -oh. attention. How your names were going on the board. 
Honestly, that goes right back to first grade when I was just so terrified of getting my name on the board. <laughs> like literally, that was like the worst thing a teacher could do to you in elementary school. And if you were the kind of person who was like the rule revering child, like I was like, it doesn't matter if it's just your name on the board. I would just be terrified. <laughs> it's like a black stain on your name. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've told Josh this story before. It's the crack but and Mark. When I was um when when I was in first when I was in first grade, I got my name on the board once for something that wasn't my fault. And my parents were so worried that I was like too scared to deal with such a menial punishment that they told me, if you ever get your name on the board, we will give you twenty dollars. I would have literally oh been able I would have literally been able to like ask to get a drink of water during class or ask to go to the bathroom or just said something like butt and I would have gotten my name on the board and gotten twenty dollars. Oh. But I didn't do it. I you literally didn't do it. Head. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in, in kindergarten, um, the the teacher asked, okay, uh, we're going to reassign chores. Uh, Kevin, do you want to clean the board after we're done? And I was like, do I want to? Like, I just, I had this whole, like, narrative in my head of, like, well, no, I don't want to. And so I was like, no. Uh, and she just looked at me like, Excuse me. I just, I just said the wrong thing. Oh, man. <laughs> And I definitely got my Honestly, name on the board. But it was a very funny uh, intro to like, li it doesn't mean that literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm elementary I'm school students, people. school school teachers are like low-key so strict. Some for good reason, some for bad. But, and it seems like so much more extreme because like when, it, when a kid is a kid, a lot of their things come from different intentions. Like if you stick your tongue out of someone at our age, that's one thing. But if like a four-year-old sticks their tongue out at you that's like them flipping you off yeah, so that's, that's why they sometimes have to overreact to stuff and that's actually part of what inspired me to make mrs button like this because i figured it would strike a lot of nostalgia in elementary school students like mm. yeah she or is totally the, she is totally the kind of teacher who would be like okay everybody listen <laughs> Dang. Dang. Those are claps. does anyone remember that <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> kids are on the floor. <laughs> They're dropping. Yeah, it's that oh, video yeah. of like the guy that slaps a child and then like progressively slaps the police. And, like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, that was a, that was. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Wait, Anton, you should play Josh. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to play jo myself oh, yeah. in my movie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Perfect. Horrifying. Is this the Riley? The cloud grows big and tall. Oh. Fun. What a fun butt yells at me again. You owe me a pizza. You backwards. <laughs> <Seal>. <laughs> now we call it a cumulonimbus cloud. It's just like a low sound. So low, yeah, just like. <laughs> 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 Couldn't hear you there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a no clay? Uh, very much not so. Let's see what we've got here. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 nah. Hey, Riley, doesn't <laughs> Alex look really, really <laughs> tired today? Like, oh. really tired? <laughs> oh, no, no. Or so that's a yes. God, that's yeah. A joke. yeah, totally. He <laughs> looks like he could fall asleep any minute. <laughs> minute is supposed to have an E at the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> Such a third grade teacher thing to do. Uh, yeah. Do you think it's because of. Huh? It looks like Renee didn't finish that thought. Well, you two, I'm sure you could have waited to share your concerns with each other without disrupting class. Uh, Mrs. Budman waited has an eye in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Alexi, are you even paying attention? 
Yes, Mrs. Bunnam. <laughs> Great. Then, can you tell me what kind of cloud causes thunderstorms? Oh, cu uh, that's a cumulo. That's a cumulo. Hey. <laughs> 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 no, it's okay. Our old man must answer for us. <laughs> I don't know. It's Cumulo Mimbus, Alex! Cumulo Mimbus! Oh, goodness. Oh, I literally just said it three seconds ago. It's on the board. <laughs> if you keep disrespecting my class like that, I'll have the principal call your mother again. Please don't. Oh. <laughs> then focus. It's not that hard. All of this is going to be on next week's test. So all of you, focus. <laughs> now the neat thing about cumulonimbus clouds and just Human was a meanie today. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I don't know why the combination of the sound and the clearing of the throat is just That's a funny well thing. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor Alex, it's all my fault. Psh, no, it's not your fault that Mrs. Bunman called on him. And it's definitely not your fault that he didn't know the answer. But we wrote the note! We should go apologize. I mean, I guess. But, but... He should apologize too, for sending that monster into the dream world. Hmm, he did do that, somehow. Come on, let's go to the park. The new kick in Taekwondo class yesterday. Oh. <laughs> the monster won't stand a chance against it. Then we can save Alex when we get stronger. <laughs> like, let's use it on each other. <laughs> <laughs> Playground. All right, now you class. stand in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so get what? What would you guys like to do? Oh, let's go family time. Oh, okay. Okay, I would like to give another brief disclaimer here that if anything is going to change the most in the full game, it's going to be the relationship with his parents. Right now, it's very typical, like, loving parents, support their child, yada, yada, yada. In the full game, oh, we're nice. going to have we're gonna have some drama. Oh, okay. As drama with, with your family. mama. Because, I mean, if you think about it, in a, lot, a lot of the fears in third grade come from the fact, like, of how upbringing comes from. Even if it's, like, subconscious, like, you know, you hear a loud noise at night, you're scared of, like, loud noises, or if it's, like, you know, direct problems. So, in the full game, all, a lot of the cameo stuff that we put in just for the fun of, like, jam sake, like, us being in the class is going to be gone. Instead, I've been working on developing, like, this entire cast of side characters, kind of assassination classroom style, where every single student in the class has a distinct personality. And so... It was kind of fun thinking about, like, how can family life affect what kind of fears you have as a kid? Like, maybe a child is is scared of losing her stuffed dog, not because she loves the dog so much, but because she's seen a pet in the family die. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of thing where, you know, you really, really, really got to put yourself in the shoes of a child and think realistically, because we often underestimate, underestimate kids, but they are so capable of processing, like, really deep emotions, even if it's in ways that manifest as... That man so, awesome. so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's awesome. So, that, that's not our little show, show here, here, with the exception of Charlie using, I'm sorry, when, when they, they say things, it's just a fear of your own growth, you'll see a bit of that in this, otherwise, otherwise it's going to go on a whole deep level of the game, so, so, brace, brace ourselves. Yep, yep. Right. writing is something that develops over time, too. It really is, it really is. It's all about the it's all about work on process. Yeah, yes. Going to ruin this nice family dynamic for our entertainment. Exactly, Josh. It's, it's, it's a little too. Yeah. Oh, the audio is getting the audio's choppy. Getting choppy. Is it all of That's it? That's my knife. Oh. If they're froggy. What? Is it when everybody speaks? Um. Oh yeah, it's really bad. I did just see oh, it drop everyone. for a second. It might be okay now. Is it? 
How is it now? Moving out. It's moving, it's moving out. Okay. Out. Yeah. Hopefully that was just temporary. I saw it. Hopefully that was temporary. Mm. Hopefully you guys didn't miss too frogs much. Frogs in the chat, please. Anybody yeah. who uh, likes frogs. Frogs in the chat. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right, mom. Uh, who shall be mom? I guess well, I, I, Ryan, I don't have Ryan. anyone yet. Go for All it. All right. Man. In the dining room, Renee. Here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Coming. Are you ready? Go to the playground. We should ride bikes there. Maybe afterward we we could. Whoa! What happened in here? The sink is huge. That is good. It's our second bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sigh. Uh, I did sigh. Oh, you did not hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Your brother decided to make an indoor snowstorm today. Oh boy. Didn't you, Sammy? Anton. Sammy Snowman. <laughs> Sammy Snowman. <Nice. laughs> okay, that's not. <laughs> no more flour for you. Da da da. <laughs> Mommy snowman. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Renee. I don't think I can go to the playground with you today. Why don't you go with your friends? But, but I wanted you to take me. Oh. I wanted us to go together. You can go by yourself. Ooh, Ooh that is wonderful <laughs> freedom right, right there. Too. You're a big boy. I'm gonna go be a big boy. Renee, big boy! Yeah, say it again! Oh, wait. No, I'm Stay not! Share the load. <laughs> Share the load. I thought he was gonna be all confident. I read that wrong. Uh, no, I'm not! I'm, I'm sorry, Renee. I don't know what to tell you. There's no way I can clean all this up in time to take you. Then I'm not going. Oh. All right, suit yourself. Hmm. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Do you think you could do mommy a favor and start the dishes? All by myself? It'll be a huge help. I'll join you as soon as I finish cleaning up here. But, but that's a grown-up thing. Don't worry, it's not hard. You can figure it out. Oh, that's a reassuring yeah. mom line right there. Big boy! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't say it! Oh, stop saying that! There we go. <laughs> Don't yell at your brother. Go on, it'll be okay. Stupid dishes. <laughs> I feel ya. Stupid grown-up chores. Oh, Stupid oh, flower. It's too real. Mind if I join you? Stupid mo- oh wait. <laughs> Stupid mo- <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'll take over the washing and you can rinse them. Sound good. Mm. So, how's school been? Mm. <laughs> Are we cows now? <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> 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 oh, I think I see a bit of a smile. That was that was that was a pretty good move. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> 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 Stop it. I got you. I got happy, Renee. Aw. Uh, I'm not happy right now. Oh, Pout slip. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, is this about the playground? I didn't realize you'd be so upset, kiddo. I can always go another day. It's not that anymore. What do I have to do grown up chores while Sammy just gets to play? Well, one look at Sammy today, and I'll think you know why he can't do chores yet. 
He's just a little boy. So he's am I. Boy. He's just a boy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, of course you are, Wendy. But the older you get, the more you can be trusted with responsibility. Oh. It's so scary. It really is. I feel it you, Charlie. It doesn't have to be. I mean, Renee. <laughs> I've already name dropped his real name like four times. Yeah, my goodness. <laughs> Just because you have to do chores doesn't mean you can't have fun. How could this be fun? With the magic of bubbles. Oh. Check out my new hat. Are is this implying that she made a hat out of bubbles? I want yes. to see that. Indeed. I want to see how possible that is. That I, I would be having fun. I, yeah. That is for sure. The most I could world? do is a beard. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so I'm that one makes sense. Heck yeah. A classic. <laughs> oh, look it, look it. I'm Pario. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go with nothing. <laughs> Gotta avoid those lawsuits somehow. That's true, yeah. Well, Pario, that's a fine looking mustache, but I think it's time to shave. <laughs> no, no, I'm my a mustache. He's really just like in the pario. Oh yeah, for sure. yeah. Oh, I mean, who wasn't in a pario back then? Yeah, good old pario. And you know, I was into pario when I was in third grade. We used was, to like, do the like first game I played courses. was Super Pario World. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we used to do Mario Kart. Me and my brothers Pario and uh, Mario Kart. Pario we just party. we just called them Mario courses. We didn't know. What obstacle courses or side scrollers or whatever it would be? Oh, we'd go around they were the just saying they were Mario. Mario no, we would be doing Mario's. Yeah, we'd be making Mario's. You're doing the Mario. <laughs> do you yeah. know? It's like not a dance. Mario. Yeah, it's like a dance move. Doing the doing the Mario. Setting up obstacles <laughs> and jumping over. Yeah, that's yeah, Mario. Yeah, it's Mario. <laughs> and you know, Renee, having responsibility doesn't mean you have to do things all on your own. Oh. And that's the last of them. Thanks, Renee. You were such a big help. You can read fast. <laughs> yeah, that's sure. How do you do that? I, <laughs> I like subliminally <laughs> flashed that line on you. You know, I found a surprise for you when I was out shopping last week. That's a pair of socks. Ooh. Well, thanks, Mom. <laughs> I was going to save it for your birthday, but I think you've earned more than, er more than earned an early treat. Here you go. No way. For real? Mom, you're the best. Hey, Josh, do you want to very briefly talk nice about what the, what, what the reward system is going to be like in the main game? Yeah, so it's kind of similar to the... If you've ever played Persona, um, you get yeah. a bunch of days that you can choose what to do with them. Um, and we'll reward uh, players for choosing to hang out with uh, other people in the real world. Um, and those rewards come in... Uh, different uh either strategies or skills or buffs to the uh turn-based combat um right so it's all about managing your uh days and trying to reach your deadline or trying to finish a goal before a deadline hits uh yeah. so and i think you got like a i don't know if you got an attack on this one i don't think it comes until later but mm. Um, but yeah, but also in the main game, I mean, because you've seen the gifts of like what Josh has been working on, it's going to be like through collecting little Lego like things that are going to be for building your attack bonus. So it'll literally yeah. be like you get little toys, except for it's going to make slightly more sense than um, because because it's like it's going to be like he, uh, everyone knows that our main character knows to collect bricks, <laughs> generic yeah, plastic, plastic bricks. bricks. <laughs> we we haven't figured out a name for them yet, but also, we've they, been calling them plastic bricks. They won't all be the plastic bricks. Um, there will be other things in combat you can. Uh, Try right. pull up the little, the the gif of it that you have on the. Ooh. On the Discord. Ooh. Sure. Oh shoot. Yeah, because it does look really cool. The, it's like the yeah, most awesome. recent one. Uh. uh uh, <laughs> why can't I find the Discord on here? Where'd it be? So yeah, in the main game, there's also going to be a lot more different types of combat options instead of just charging at the monsters and like doing damage. It's gonna be it's gonna be a whole thing. That's you have to know which. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Never mind my entire Discord screen. Oh wait, am I sharing just the you're, program? You're I just know. sharing, yeah. Oh. The browser. Hold on. 
it's also a don't mind the programmer art in this. Yeah. Oh yeah, I figured that was very like <laughs> in progress, but I still think it's really cool. The uh, here, let me go back to my square screen real quick. By the way, I, you're still there. You go. Uh -huh. There it is. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. this is just so incredible. Yeah. This is exciting to me. And here's a... Custom moves. I'll just throw it in this chat. Oh, that's uh, so cool. A bit of a cleaner look. Yeah, is that Lord one. Builder. That's awesome. Oh, that um, is such a cool idea. What? And I've been working on switching the... Uh, very cluttered text into icons. Uh, oh yeah, that's a lot of uh, fun UI design to go oh, there. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, there aren't too many things I can uh, look for as reference, uh, which has been a fun challenge. No, that's uh, yeah, that's, that's that's great. I mean, it if also has not a very a bunch of reference. That means it's a very novel idea. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's been fun. It also really vibes with like the whole third grade imagination aesthetic because like you know in the dream world you can do whatever you want like a kid can fight with a sword but at the same time it would make sense that it's not like a metal sword with a sharp tip because it's still a kid's mind it's going to manifest its way the way a kid's mind does. Yeah. Oh, I like this I'd go the other way I, through imagination I'd imagine it with a sharp tip and I, this looks pretty sharp to me. That's a pretty sharp triangle block. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. I tried a rounded one but it didn't good. <clears throat> Look uh, yeah, a little phallic, but um, <laughs> yeah. If you look at the the hilt, uh, there's like party and enemy sections. So <clears throat> the bricks on the left will apply to the party, the ones on the right the enemy. So you can kind of work on different builds uh, if you'd like to that be more cool. like buffing your party or DPS uh, on the enemy. That's cool. Yeah. So what With happens if you put like a like a damage one on your party. You could absolutely damage your party. Uh, yeah. And also, like, the bricks you collect will be specific to who you hang out with. Uh, so if you find, like, a certain person gives a kind of brick that you like, um, that might be a build that you're uh, interested in. Uh, perhaps going down their arc and hanging out with them will uh, also help build that up. That's rad. I'd say it's ambitious, but look what you've already gotten there. Oh, I missed the line. There's oh. another character okay. in there. Yeah, there's um, a couple. There's, Anton, um, take it. They're just Go playing jump it. rope. You know, the Cinderella okay. dressed in yellow type thing. Cinderella needs some help there. Uh. <laughs> you get in the middle now, Jason. Okay, I'm going to go way more than you. We'll see about that. Okay, one, two, three, over. Cinderella dressed in pink climbed the stairs to get a drink. She went too far, got hit by a car. How many dogs oh. give CPR? <laughs> one, <laughs> two. Hey, Ellie. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Jason. Three, four. Hi, Renee. <laughs> Five. Wanna play? Sure. Oh, guess not. Cueing them sounds oh, in the ink file, sound. huh? Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Magic. Oh. Is there... Hey. <laughs> we rematch later. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> Come on, Renee. Let's head in. Right. See ya, Aaron. Actually, Katie, do you want to take this? Who? Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> nice. Whoa. I like the little puppy on your backpack. Didn't notice it till now. <laughs> it's new. My parents got it for me after I helped them with chores. Cool. I guess chores really pay off. Nice. Wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> it's, it's important to spend time with your parents, too. <laughs> Not just friends. Oh, I said something. Oh. Hey, Riley. 
<laughs> oh, come on. Math isn't that bad. Yeah, math was... is terrible, right? <laughs> so bad you have to skip over the lines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I also can't uh, read subliminally. Hey, hey oh, Magic. So hey, hey, you guys, real quick, real quick, real quick. Magic, when you say dark TVH, I'm guessing you're referring to the jump rope rhyme. Yeah, oh, totally, I yeah. actually I actually came up with that when I was in sixth grade. Um, wow, my, gosh. We were like, you know, Cinderella dressed in yellow is kind of dumb. So yeah. um, I just had to make up a bunch of different ones. And that was the one I went with because I'm the one for most proud of it. But I have one that's really, really really dark that would have been too dark to go into the game oh, and that one goes like this it goes like this cinderella dressed in green was tyrannical and mean she hit her head the floor ran red how many days until she's dead oh my gosh <laughs> wow you came up with this in third grade it's got sixth a ring around grade. the rosy vine. Oh, sixth grade, sixth grade. Okay. then it's okay the sixth grade edge i'd yeah. imagine they all learned it from a sixth grader then <laughs> probably it yeah. was actually it was Older actually sibling. me <laughs> it's fine, nice. the tyrant ties in the end. And see, <laughs> nice. here's the thing with this one. With, with this one, you count backwards instead of forwards from like a number that you pick. And if you make it down to zero, you go, Today's the day Cinderella died. No one in the castle cried. They stuffed her neath the castle floor. Cinderella was seen nor heard no more. Dang. Oh and then you count upwards. <laughs> And How many days go. since the tyrant was gone? Oh, there you go. Brilliant. <laughs> Until one fills the vacuum. Right. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. The very cyclical jump rope count. <laughs> Just boring sometimes. Super bad and boring, like I was saying. Yes. It's a new teacher. Oh, it's Miss Lee. Oh. I, I can take. <laughs> Or... You know, here, <laughs> Katie can be Miss Lee. Because Eric, yeah. Erica, uh, Erica's, I mean, Erin is done, so you can be Miss Lee. All right. All right, everyone. I hope you're all having a great morning so far. Today we're going to start a wacky game, a wacky take on division. Fractions. Oh, dot, dot, dot. Hey, hey now, Katie. Oh, this is interesting. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Let's like, not doodle in class right now. Gosh, yep. Oh, lame. Still, you gotta <laughs> squeeze in those doodles. We need really to cool. focus on fractions. <laughs> Am I playing myself okay. or is this just someone else? Yes, you should no. totally play yourself because this is totally something you would say. I'm not doodling. I'm drawing. I see that. <laughs> it's a lovely picture of a doggy. It's a wolf, actually. <laughs> oh, she's just Aaron again. <laughs> but I don't think you'll be able to work on that on class and be able to tell what one fifth of one hundred is by the end, will you? It's twenty. <laughs> oh, get it. Oh, inaccurate. I would Ooh. never be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> That's right. Good job, Katie. But we still need to pay attention, okay? Eyes up here, everyone. Now see right here, we've got this big whole pie. Mm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the rest of class passes by uneventfully, as does the rest of the school day. I, I imagine he was just really hungry at the time. <laughs> it's like, oh, pie. Oh. <laughs> Die. Hi. Let's go try out my new powers. Did you guys all study fractions in third grade? Like third grade multiplication, yeah. division, and fractions? Was, I, remember I remember multiplication and oh. division. I remember Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Long division. It's my jam. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, double attack. Oh, Can double attack. SP. I got him. I never got a double attack. <laughs> did you do oh, it, like, I didn't even know this existed. I did, yeah. I, <laughs> I did it without getting any of the extra moves. <laughs> yeah, Dang. that's impressive, though. <laughs> it was such a headache. I, didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I died like 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> did it just come down to like enemy it, uh, it was like choice? Yeah, it was RNG. like a little bit of yeah enemy <laughs> RNG on, on targeting. Oof. And then, and then uh, dodging. Yeah, and then I had to like plan out like, okay, do because there's a part I don't want to spoil it, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah where yeah. you get to like, 
more enemies spawn, like the more that you you beat them or whatever. So there's like RNG on that too. And I was like, oh yeah. no, please don't spawn another one. <laughs> go, 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 go. Hello, Milo oh, nice. Manny. Why don't you come make it? Breakfast Look. is eaten. Hello. That's what matters here. Yeah, gotta have your breakfast. Yeah, I was eating <laughs> breakfast like this first half. <laughs> yeah, you missed the breakfast ASMR stream. You approach oh. a dream gap. Oh. Oh. Nice, nice. Awesome. Hey Josh, I actually have a question for you. Um, yeah. in the main game, are are those like floating uh ball things gonna be there too, or are they gonna be like little pictures of the enemies, or how is that gonna work? What's um, your plan? That is a good question. Um, <laughs> this is, is definitely a, placeholder stuff. Um, who does who does the overall like design? Where is it like just kind of everybody gets together and talks about it? Like uh, how things I, are represented in the world. Like, uh, I think it's it's been we me and Josh have talked about this in the past, but I don't think we had time to do this for for this game. But we've definitely right. done that for past games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll usually like. Uh, kind of do some level building together um and like what building blocks uh, would work well right. together and mm -hmm. what would be needed mechanics wise uh, i, like, I dig yeah. these rocks yeah this one i just like reused uh some particle effects from a game jam from before uh, from uh the gmtk jam game jam right this is from <laughs> yeah uh, ember of life. life yeah um, um oh yeah i yeah. like um that a lot of art or JRPGs do is like they'll have one of the enemies uh, kind of in the overworld that you can run into um, and then like when you start that encounter it's kind of like a they have their full party um, uh, so you yeah. can kind of see what you're going to go up against um, and you may have like ways to get a first strike in uh, based on how you is, does Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories count as that kind of game? I guess it has elements from it uh, like we'll walk around and then there's an enemy and then you go in zoom in to is that like i guess pokemon is also similar yeah yeah pokemon yeah, it's um, yeah it's, it's yeah. traditional jrpg kind of stuff good uh yeah dragon quest final fantasy oh yeah or early fan final fantasy oh right, ooh, right. Ooh, ooh. uh super mario R rpg yes yeah. super mario paper mario, mario. Ah. mario uh paper mario, yeah, paper mario. Right. yeah yeah, yeah. Hey guys, real quick, as we continue this conversation, we might want to continue through the uh, dungeon just because like, it is not as much story stuff, so we can keep talking about this while we fight monsters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's true. Yeah, so anyway, uh, there's like a yeah, um, Persona games as well. Um, they usually have chances in the overworld to like, if you approach an enemy from behind, uh, you can get like an extra strike on them. Or if they like hit you from the side or from behind, uh, they'll get a first strike on you. So it kind of makes uh, how you move in the overworld a bit uh more interesting and uh right. purposeful um so i'd like to do something like that right now this I is remember like kingdom hearts had something like that as well it was it was like if you sh if you were able to strike them in the overworld first to start mm -hmm. the battle it would help but if they ran at you and hit you first then yeah they, yeah, for they sure. would start with an attack mm -hmm. yeah because oh, right now of, it's just uh like, oh. energy too yeah so um I don't know if it was communicated in the game, but um, your SP will... It is now. Uh, recharge oh, when, you, uh, when you start the next day. Um, Got it. So, all so you have like a limited amount too. for this day to uh, make progress. Oh, we gonna grind. Oh, yeah. Don't know if I should have done that. It's cool. It's it's just a save point. Fine. Let's do it. <laughs> no, you gotta restart the whole run. Yeah, it's ruined. <laughs> <It's> ruined. <laughs> <That was laughs> yeah. Wow, man, where's your grind? <laughs> yeah, where's that grind set? What they all thought? <laughs> the grind set. <laughs> I ran right towards them. <laughs> and yeah, back to like one. You just back to like splitting the whole time. The whole time thing though, like it's also important to do dungeon <sighs> grinds as it is to like talk to the characters and stuff because it's all based on fear so you can't really understand the dungeon unless you understand the character but at the same time if you try to understand the character all at once and then don't fear any of the dungeon you have to do a really long dungeon run and i mean actually playing persona for research that was one of the things that kind of annoyed me the most about the game is like how much you have to 
grind and like if you die you have to do it all over again but at the same time that's important for like skill building so yeah, kind of a mix of everything yeah we played a uh, I've played Persona 3, 4, and 5, um, and they played a bit of 4 for research. Um, but 5 does, like, I, I think mechanics-wise is my favorite um, in how they uh, handle that kind of stuff. The dungeons are super interesting. Hey, Jack, uh, Logstar has a really interesting question. Will the charging enemies be turned into, like, a big puzzle element? Um, I don't think the enemy encounters themselves will be, like, puzzly elements, like how you run into them. But I think, like, in the overworld, there'll be some puzzle dungeon-like elements to the game. Uh, so it's not just about walking around and fighting monsters, but there's also going to be, like, puzzle parts to it in order to clear it. Yeah, make it interesting so it's not just a line of enemies that you have to clear. Um, sure. The story elements charging... already do a good amount, too. So. Yeah. It, yeah, that's true. It a bit. Yeah. Uh, Persona does a really good job of blending both sides of... Uh, narrative and gameplay um that's right so oh, that's yeah. kind of what we're shooting for also this enemy hey. ai is a, a copy pasted from another game jam the, <laughs> nice uh tour of the deep they're the uh angler fish the angler oh, fish, yeah that makes but, sense but they're oh. super nerfed <laughs> <Ha>. <laughs> they thought they could get me Which I don't know if you guys remember, okay. but the anglerfish were, were voiced by me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fred! Fred! Hey, they're they're together somehow. Fred! In attendance, that's okay. You made it. Oh, hey guys, I don't, maybe this dialogue doesn't need to be skimmed through. What they're talking about is the fact oh. that there's no thunderstorm, so the door is gone. That's why yeah, the that's weather forecast important. does hey, matter. Hey. Yeah, right. Alex is Alex secretly is some wizard who controls the weather. <laughs> Oh, well, you never know. You know, I'm, I'm happy about it all. Seriously, though, we better try and figure this this out later. Yeah. For now, though, we're already down here, so let's not put this night to waste. Yeah, we can beat up smaller guys and get even stronger. You can also that. use the dream gap to exit. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, so that's the... Oh, that's... die. It's a oh, bad no. time to run oh, out of yeah, SP. You're, uh... <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. You're not gonna have a great oh, time here. Oh, no. We saved oh, you. It's, oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 they boy. really hate Riley. This has the same energy as when everyone was beating up Yosuke. <laughs> yeah. Do I, have, do I unlock running later? Uh, it It's just something I never implemented. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's so you we didn't imagine that anyone would be uh, awkwardly <laughs> enough to, right. to actually use it. I really love the, like, let's just beat up on these small guys, and they turn I just, the fact that I turn it around, like, yeah, and it guys. just <laughs> right at me. You ought to yeah, beat you... us up. <laughs> Mine wanted to go ahead and exit for the day yes. and go hang out with Alex. Oh, I thought I you could probably, probably get one win in. Wait, does, does the story part save, though? Uh, yes. Oh, I think so. No, I think that isn't like an actual flag, uh, so it wouldn't. Oh, uh, so just to that affects the game keep state. happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, or at least when like you save and load, because uh, the scenes reset. It. Mm. Come on. Oh, I see. What Take you're saying. the bait. <laughs> it's just on scene loading. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a um, critical to the overall story path. Right. Oh boy. Oh, it's a thunder day. Oh, it's a thunder day. Oh, it's one of the bad days. I mean, good days? Oh, but it's raining again? <laughs> oh, but. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. But do we want it to come again some other day? I sure don't. I hate having recess inside. We really need to scare the rain away. Scare the rain? Yeah! <laughs> I think he's yeah. just pensive today. <laughs> like... <laughs> rain, rain, go away. Or get kicked in the teeth today. Dang. Yikes. <laughs> How are we gonna kick the rain in the teeth? 
What teeth? Does Rain have teeth? <laughs> well, I mean, Katie's monsters have teeth, and they're thunder. They're cumulonimbus clouds. I was That's... thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find clouds a way. Carnivores. <laughs> clouds are cumula carnivores. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Too bad that didn't work yeah. on a monster in the dream world. I'm still thinking about that. Yes. Hey, it can still work once we get stronger. I know a little more about the monster. Talking to Alex would probably help us out with that. For sure. We should hurry. All right, everyone, don't forget. Oh. Every nun. <laughs> Every nun. Every nun. It's, it's a Christian school. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a privileged <laughs> women's Christian school. Uh, well, then it is this Tuesday. Uh, don't leave all your studying till the night before. Now let's dive back into those clouds. No more clouds. Maybe the clouds will get bored listening to this lesson. Then it'll stop raining. Yeah, right. Huh. Well, oh, it actually worked! Mrs. Bun Butt is just that bad at lecturing. Not for long. There's supposed to be another storm tonight. The storm won't chance stand a chance against my threatening song. Well, hey, oh. Alex, wait up. Oh, what do you want? Are you here to make fun of me again? Oh, yes. Gonna call me stupid? Maybe. That wasn't the exact word I was going to use. Well, I wasn't. I never said you were stupid. You're not stupid. Yeah, right. What was that note in Mrs. Bunman's class all about then, huh? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Honest. <laughs> Oh, like you could fall asleep like any second. I just want to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Just bad dreams and stuff. About storms? No. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can't tell anyone else about that. Tell anyone else about what? Wait, so you don't know? Don't know what? <sighs> I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm afraid of thunderstorms, okay? Go ahead, you can laugh. I won't. Huh? Every kid is scared of something out there. Being brave, brave is hard for everybody. Especially when people are mean about it. True. Like Mrs. Bunbutt. More like Mrs. Bunbutt. I knew it. <laughs> Called it. Easy. Incredible. Easy. <laughs> Bunbutt. That's her true name, you know. I mean, why are you scared of thunderstorms, Alex? <laughs> I don't know. There's just so many loud noises and stuff going on at once. I don't even understand what's going on outside the window. It's scary. But that's what we're learning about in Bun Bun's class, then, <laughs> isn't it? Hey, how's that supposed to have a stupid head like me? Hey, you are not a stupid head. The stupidest stupid head? I'm almost 10 years old and I'm still stuck in third grade. That doesn't mean you're stupid. <laughs> My mom sure thinks so. I mean, I can't even understand clouds. What kind of third grader can't understand clouds? Clouds are hard. It took me a bit of studying to remember them too. Yeah, but at least you got it. Eventually. Hey, maybe I could help you. Huh? I can teach you about clouds. Come on, let's go to the park. 
We can start right now. You would do that. <laughs> uh huh. It'd be fun. Baby. I don't know though. My mom says I can't play with friends till my grades get better. I have to get a good grade on the weather test next Tuesday. But I can't. I know I can't. Not unless you study the clouds. <laughs> he could have also said that like really mystically. <laughs> Not unless you study the clouds. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to tell your mom it's a play date. It's not, it's a... What would grown-ups call it? Oh yeah, study session. Study session? Maybe that could be fun. Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's go. Wait, wait, not today. Oh, why not? I haven't asked my mom yet. And I have to be home very soon to practice before my piano lessons. Oh. But I'll ask her about it. I'm sure she'll say yes as long as I'm back in time for dinner. And as long as I promise to study. Right, see you at school tomorrow. Excited to have Alex feel some kind of pressure from not only being the oldest in the class, but also having parents who push him really hard. We were kind of like deciding like, what should we make his cultural background? And we ended up settling with Russian, not just because it's not something you see a lot and also because write what you know, but also because even though my mom was super chill and she learned from like the mistakes of a lot of people she's seen and, and like didn't push pressure me to do a lot of stuff. A lot of her friends' kids are like this where their, their parents are like forcing them to get good grades. They're like, you have to practice piano. It's like they're forcing them to speak Russian. And the problem is like, it doesn't work. A lot of times it's just going to make the kid hate what they do and like feel really terrible about themselves as opposed mm. to like if they're raised in an environment where doing those things is fun, where they're free to express themselves, like maybe they can learn Russian only for the things they want to do. They're going to learn a lot better as opposed to someone who's just like, you know, forced to do it all the time. So like actually Alex, Alexei, Alex is based off my mom's friend's daughter who's 12 right now and she does not speak a whole a lot of Russian because she wasn't fully immersed in it when she was a kid so now her mom is like forcing her to take russian lessons and it does absolutely nothing uh. she can say like hi and stuff but if her mom goes what language do we speak in this house she goes pretty mom pretty mom and then like three seconds later she's speaking english again because she just hates speaking russian and the more her mom pushes her to do it the more she hates it mm. so that's part of why alex is kind of so like insecure because even though his mom is trying to do the best for him with their culture and stuff, she's actually just shoving him under a rug. And yes, he's afraid of storms, but deep down, it's not just that. It's that fear of understanding because he's so used to being like called stupid or feeling stupid that not understanding something like storms is what generates that fear. Dang. Wow. That is a... Uh, and I like the idea that like before this point, um, you are in the dream world possibly trying to figure out what the deal is and you're given so little in the dream world except for that i think that's alex exactly that's i like that um uh, question question mark. yeah uh uh you don't dream every night is there like a map to when you dream or is that more mm -hmm. like I'm choosing to dream tonight. Right. That'll so that, be more explained in the main game. It'll be yeah. more explained oh, in the main okay. game, but it's it comes from the fact that if you were allowed to go into the dream night world every night, it would be kind of OP. Kind of like before you have to make the conscious choice to go into the TV world. So there's a bit of balance between social links and between combat. So we've been trying to work out a mechanism, like a good in plot reason why you can only go into the dream world on some nights. And we think we have it figured out, but it's not totally set in stone. So it's going to be like, you either make a choice, you make your social links or you go to the dream world. Okay. And it's oh, basically just it. assumed that on a night you don't choose to go to the dream world, you'll, you'll basically have like one of those dreamless oblivion type nights, which happens. It's more, realistic. More often yeah. than not. Yeah. More yeah. often than not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I don't think you dream every night and night in the woods. Do you? I don't think so. Oh, I didn't uh, know that in the woods had dream mechanics. Yeah, so. I think the first couple nights at least. You don't. don't. Maybe like the majority. Or... The majority of them are not. I, oh, the yeah, majority I... are dreams. And then, yeah, some of them are not. Okay. Just, just wondering. 
Uh, yeah, that was, that was definitely a very, question. very good question. Mr. Clovis, dudes and doodads. Who wants to take them dudes and doodads? I, I can do it. Hey. Do it. Yeah. All right, little dudes and doodads. Don't forget <laughs> these book reports are due at the end of next week. Oh, now come on, put those glum faces away. <laughs> you know, a special time has just come this way. Do you guys remember when we were working on this game, hoping to get it done for NDJ4, and rhyming dialogue was an optional theme? Oh. I had a blast Rhyme. writing this part. Oh. Hey, Brace Friday. yourselves. Rhyme day Friday. Friday, Friday. Nice. Rhyme day Friday. <laughs> Rhyme day Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Jump back to where we were last week. I need you all to take a peek inside your minds and tell me quick how many lines are in a limerick five yes a limerick has five short lines to be read you hit that nail right on the head <laughs> what a limerick is that Ooh, much is good. known thanks ready to write one of your very own oh this is great uh, how, did awesome. you, how did you squeeze that into a game jam that's great <laughs> <laughs> I just really love writing poetry. Like, I mean, before I started studying screenwriting, I seriously thought I would be the next Shel Silverstein <laughs> until I learned that's not, that's not until that's not a, until I learned that's not a sustainable career. Like, you Aww. know, in, in middle school, they start like making you think like about you your went career. To dev. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The most sustainable. Yeah. I mean, Shel Silverstein. It's, it's a growing industry, so okay. Go. As opposed to like poetry is kind of starting to die out as an ancient art form. It's kind of sad, that. actually. It's in a lot of things. But I think it's, it's really you ever cool watch how... a movie and it's like, wow, that movie was like a big poem. That's I, I, fair. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> but also, it's not like it's dying out. It's more like it's adapting to the new age. Because think Child of Light. The entire game is basically a giant poem, but it's adapted to modern media. And that's kind of what I get a chance to do here. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. Anything with written word, you can put poetry into. But I get what you mean. Just poem. But just poetry. I know nothing about it. Logstar, which is Silver Scene stuff specifically? Um, oh my gosh, I love so much of his poetry. I love the poem about rain. Honestly, I love the part in, I think it was The Light in the Attic, where it's like, although I cannot see your face as you flip these poems a while, someday in a far off place, I hear you laughing and I smile. I, I don't know why that resonates with me so Ooh, much, wow. but it just really shows like how poetry is kind of timeless. Oh, Magic oh, yeah. Blue. I'm so glad you were able to tune in. Thank you so much. Like, it means a lot. I'm, I really hope you enjoyed. And go destroy those arrows. Oh, arrows. Heck yeah. DDR. Oh, Thank nice. you so much again. CDR. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, yeah, thanks thanks for arrows. Tuning in. I tried that the other day, and it was hard. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Oh. It was difficult. Yeah. I think I'm getting better at it slowly. There you go. All right. But back right. to Shell Silverstein Let's real quick, I think I gotta share I think I gotta share my favorite Shell Silverstein poem of all time though, which is We're we not. gave you a chance to water the plants. We didn't mean that way. Now zip up your pants. <laughs> oh, no. so oh, Shell. <laughs> Time's up, everyone. Now the fun part. Reading out loud. Now where should we start? This accent is all over the place. Alright, Renee, now's your time. To grace the class with your lovely rhymes. Are you ready to share? Oh. Can't decide between three versions of the last line. Oh. That's alright. Just follow it. Just go for it and go with the flow, little dude. And Fastboy, thank you for the follow. Thanks, Fastboy. Uh, let the poetry form the way it wants to form. Alright, here it goes. Someone start a beatbox. <laughs> there was once a cute little van. The van always said, Oh, I can. Yeah. But once he was bought, he'd never have thought. Ooh. That life was no fun for a van. That he'd have oh, to drive yeah. that man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he fell in and died. Oh, <laughs> oh. He messed it up. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, guys, but I got flat I'm, points. Guys, yeah. I'm embarrassed to admit that when I wrote this line, I was like, okay, what would a third grade boy find funny? And then after I wrote it, I started laughing and couldn't breathe for a solid <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> we were so timeless much and ageless. <laughs> Like, really? I mean, like, or you're, or you're okay, a third, look, third grade. Look, 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 let's hear this. Let's hear this whole poem, all in a line. There once was a cute little van. The van always said, "Oh, I can." But once he was bought, he never have thought that he fell into the toilet and died. Surreal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Real left turn. Hurting our so expectations. Good. Yeah. It's actually high art. Right. It really is. It's, it's a very. A, it's commentary on the form of the limerick, actually. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Now, Renee, that's. <laughs> Renee, I hardly think that, that that's <laughs> uh, appropriate for school. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest limerick ever. Well, <sighs> okay, hang on, let me breathe. You certainly know your audience, that's for sure. Right, guys. We get to do. Thank you, thank you. Hey. I'll be here all day. Renee's such a class clown like this. Unless he gets sent to the principal right now. Nah, no need to get the big boss involved. Mr. Clovis is a real one. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's like the cool teacher everyone wishes they had in elementary school if I they didn't have one like that. He won't be amused by this art. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna have to write a note to your parents, though, young man. Let's try not. <laughs> Let's not quite get that creative next time, okay? Yeah, I know. And with that, our class is done. Now run right outside Let's and have do some fun. it. I've got a um. I got, I, I'm going to tell you what the other endings were. So this limerick is actually a limerick that I wrote in third grade. Um, I was really obsessed with writing limericks back then. So um, when our class did a unit on limericks, I was like, hey, I've written those before. And I ended up sharing them. The true ending is um, that he would have to drive around a fat man. That's the one that I ended up writing. Mm. But it, so if you pick that, that's technically the true ending. And you get a little bit more character development. And you actually see the limerick that Alex wrote. And then if you pick the one where uh, life is no fun for a van, that's when uh, Mr. Clovis likes your limerick, but I don't. Because oh. one of my biggest pet peeves is when poetry will try to rhyme the same word with the same word twice. Oh, uh, yeah. So I literally, little, little third grade me will pipe up and be like, oh, Mr. Clovis, Mr. Clovis, he rhymed van with van. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's really... illegal. That's illegal. Oh, look yeah. at Tom, that. Tom oh, yeah. Voice. So that's what's behind those other oh. two doors. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're going again. Oh boy. It, it, was a, it was a little tricky though to figure out exactly which limerick I should use for this because some of the limericks I wrote in third grade were low-key sort of dark. Oh. One of them goes like this. There once was a cute little bunny. He was beautiful, oh. little, and funny. But a wolf came to eat and took him as meat, and that was the end of the bunny. Oh my god. That, that would be the end of the bunny. Yeah. That would be I, the end I of think, the bunny. I think I'm going to win. We'll see, actually. Uh, so... <laughs> It'll come down to it. Yeah. Yes! Oh! oh. oh. Clutch. Holy crap! Oh, Super clutch. Man. All right, do you think I can handle another one? Uh, yes. Let's do it. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, the by numbers the way, say yes. The numbers are in your is favor. <laughs> is there still a chance to hang out with Alex on the last two days, Josh? Yeah, we made it pretty... Uh, I think we discussed it. Uh, uh, to, to force that, not oh, force it, but to like have the in option. the like in the demo though. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it was one cool. more chance because you do have to hang out with him one more time in order to be able to beat spoilers. The final. <laughs> well, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to make sure we don't get the bad ending on stream. No, oh, that makes it fun because then it yeah. gives them incentive to play it themselves. Yeah, it's like it's oh, you can. Like, it's that like ending. it's like those crummy game app commercial. Well, okay. Like the very spammy ones, I'll say. Um, where can people play in ten. Uh, you can. Uh, the yeah, world is your oyster. Really do that. 
Um, but it's like those commercials where they intentionally play badly. So it's like, I could do that. Uh, yeah. Goes, download the game. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's genius. So play Alex, worse. It's all no. you. <laughs> yeah. Don't do the right thing. <laughs> yeah. Alex, are you ready for clouds? Katie? Katie, are you there? He, he's Katie, not ready uh, for clouds. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, uh, Katie, are you ready for clouds? Yes. <laughs> are you sure about this? Don't worry. I'll make sure none of these clouds ever scare you again. No, no, no. <laughs> no that's a serious cloud. Which one's a serious cloud? That one above the tree. What tree? The one that looks like a cloud. I mean, uh, that, that tree. <laughs> it looks like a hand. Uh, oh, yeah. It does look like a hand, huh? Cool. <laughs> Focus, Alex. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Let's try again. The one right above the hand tree. That's the cirrus cloud? No, that one is the cirrus cloud. That one is the cumulus cloud. Oh. The note of like having more backgrounds in the full game, this is where I was picturing like Katie would like have a, a back screen with like a blue sky and like clouds. Yeah, so you can kind of yeah. See what you're pointing at. Uh, and I think yeah. that would be hand super tree, cool. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. I would love to see your artistic rendition of the hand tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's a cumulus cloud again? Uh, why isn't it working? Tutoring people is hard. Yeah. It's like you hey, really gotta hey. adapt to their style. It's true. It's okay. It's not your fault, Renee. I'm just too dumb to get this. You're not dumb. Here, I know. Why don't we take a snack break? My mom always says it's not good to study on an empty stomach. She packed these piroshki for us. Oh, that pronunciation, oh, man. Wow. Oh, Beautiful. Thank you. I just guessed. Piroshuk, it's my favorite Russian snack. Whoa. You're Russian? What kind of accent do you think I was <laughs> doing this whole time? I thought it was Czech. Is it that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I gotta answer a call real quick. Someone take over. I'm gonna keep pressing buttons. Sounds good. Okay. Yep. Whoa, I thought you were Bulgarian. <laughs> Manton, do you want to take over or Dangwin? Either one. Anton? Yeah. Okay. Hey, anyway. Russia? Yeah? Here, want to try one? Be brave. I can do this. Hey, there was mashed potatoes inside. <laughs> nice. It's really good. Isn't it? Isn't it? Hey, Alex, look. The inside kind of looks like a cumulus cloud. Oh, fish. Huh? Of the three main types of clouds, the cumulus one's the one that's fluffy and piled high. Like the pile of potatoes inside this thing. Whoa, yeah! Wait, that means cumulus is like... Wait, is the sea like a, like a soft sea or a hard sea? It's a hard sea. Kartoshka means potato in Russian. Nice. Cool. Hey, fish, we need the button. Ah, who are you? Who are you? Oh, that's, that's, that's you, Katie. Oh. Ah, oops. Cumulus, Cumulus Kartoshka? Kartoshka? They both start with a C. <laughs> Cumulus Kartoshka. That's cute. Oh. I, I think I can remember that. What was Miss Bunwin saying in class? Something about cumulus clouds doing something? I didn't see it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That gives me an okay, idea. Okay, fish, fish, slow it down. 
Okay, pretend this Pirajok is the cloud. <laughs> He's got his AirPods <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, and Kortochka is the water inside. And I'm just going to stand here. <laughs> How do you really <laughs> think about that? <laughs> if I start shaking it, that's all the energy inside, sending the water all around. The water droplets grow bigger. The cloud gets fluffier and darker. Now it's a cumulonimbus cloud. cloud. Oh, oh Whoa, welcome back. It's <laughs> like we said that at the same time. Uh, oh. Time. <laughs> I got two voices. And that means... Nay, you're spilling potatoes on the ground! Whoa, what did I miss? Hold up. <laughs> I'm you missed potatoes. The yeah, you missed the Russian lessons. Yeah, you missed the kart kart kartoshka. 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 So I'm spilling kartoshkas on the ground. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just did a whole. He uh, Charlie realized that, like you know, uh, what speaks to Alex's style is mnemonic devices. So when he learned that cumulus and kartoshka both start with a C, he was able to figure it out. Like because potatoes really do look like a cumulus cloud. Hey, being smart over here. I mean, oops, five second rule. <laughs> right as you say, oh. being smart. Don't eat the potato rain. <laughs> potato precipitation. Oh. Potato precipitation from a cumulonimbus cloud. You got it. Nyet means no in Russian. <laughs> Nimbus nyet. I'll just remember, no potato rain! <laughs> Yet, Kortoshka rain. Ooh, how do you say rain in Russian? Oh, <laughs> you did! Nice. That was good. Dodge, did you? Don't worry, that's a hard one. Dodge, <laughs> that's harder. I'll keep practicing. <laughs> And so will I. You better, all those clouds are gonna be on the test, young man. Oh. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Bumbutt. Why did I just care? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Renee. I feel so much better about that test now. And about sleeping tonight. Even if there's a storm? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just tell the cumulonimbus clouds to stop throwing potatoes at us. Oh. Eve. Final day. Final day. Dawn. Final day. Day is Sunday. Day is Sunday. Oh, we go into the dream world. We go into the dream world. We Not know that- that family closure? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, important things to do. Uh, now let's see what happens once we know that when we now that we know about the power of Kartoshka. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Oh, do it. Do it. Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> shows up on the the rainy days i saw you working on that i think you were doing it on stream oh like I the might overlay have. of the clouds too in the background yeah yeah what yeah. my clouds are those huh <laughs> heck if i know good clouds <laughs> also i want to give a shout out to katie for like that dungeon design like it looks so cool whether or not the door is there or not there and the lightning just is so perfect 
Thank yeah, you. Really good. Truly some good teamwork between the two of you. I think the red stands out quite a bit. Now, I'm sure this is the intent, mm -hmm. but where does the race car bed come into play? Uh, you'll have to play the real game. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, That's our little secret. That's for uh, us to know and you to find out. Oh, audio again, Logstar says. Yeah. Is it, oh, no. Is it okay now? Oh, jeez. Give it a second. So Give it just a second it. to recover. Yeah. Let us know. Got, a, got better a little after I sent it. Okay. Yeah, I think All I'm right. just having random drops every now and then, so. <laughs> Sorry All about right. that. Alright, can we continue talking? Can we continue talking? Is it better? Are we back? Are we back? Are we Gucci? I think so. We're I hate better. that I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the background here. Also, I do like that, like, by the time you get to the monster, you see only the background, too, and not the edge. That's pretty cool. Like, and also here, like, the green is sky. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the smoke cloud, it's, uh, going along with, like, the representation of enemies. Uh, at this point, it would probably be the boss that you could see. Um, oh, yeah. Because with what before, is like, a big mystery cloud. Yeah. Doesn't it seem kind of different this time to you? Like, kind of clearer? Yet also cloudier. Definitely a bit clearer. Look, I see Alex this time. Alex! So dark! So loud! Ah! I don't know what's going on. Alex, snap out of it! He busts into opera. I don't opera. understand this. Yeah, he's an opera singer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand any of this. Alex, stop thinking you're too dumb to understand this. You do know what it is. Just look closer. Oh. Renee, what are you doing here? Doesn't it remind you of something? Potatoes? But oh, molasses. Oh, it's <laughs> 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 Riley's like, where have I been this whole time? I never hung out with Riley. Gordorska? Okay, what? <laughs> yes, Gordorska. You're speaking alien language now too? Weirdest dream ever. This is just a... Just a cloud? A cumulonimbus cloud? Yes, yes, you got it. It's just a cloud. Scariest looking cloud I've ever seen. <laughs> it looks like it wants to kill us. Riley, you're not helping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, you're not helping. I was like, Anton, did, uh, oh, <laughs> did you want to take over? <laughs> Why is it this so scary? Oh, I was about to say that line before, too. <laughs> Think about what a cumulus nimbus cloud is, Alex. <laughs> Why? Oh, I know you know this. It's, it's just a fluffy potato cumulus cloud with a storm brewing inside. Right. Oh, uh, wait. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Well, well. <laughs> all we gotta do is fight the storm inside. I see it. Oh, that glad the audio is better. Sweet. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Thank you, boy. guys. Yeah. Thanks for letting us know. Fight? Trust us, Alex. Just be as brave as you can. Keep thinking about clouds. That's how all warriors do it. It's just it's just all clouds. Yeah. Come on, Riley. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> I love that. Holy crap. That's awesome. I love that design. Katie yeah. made him very terrifying. Yeah. I'm low key scared of him. That's so good. He's the big boy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nice. Nice. Get those, get them out of the way. The, uh, oh the floating cloud animation is uh, stolen from uh, the, our choice to double attack on, Duba Duba. on one guy. Oh. I totally oh, didn't, no. I didn't know that they were going to spawn more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fact.
Yeah, you really gotta focus uh -oh. damage on him. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Nice. Nice. Get him out of Very there. Good. Very good. Get the big boss. Oh, this is good. Oh. Oh. Gone. Okay. Doing good on health, though. So stressful. Get the choices. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Do you oh, hit no. them or both? Is that, am I actually choosing the zero or no? Or is it? Oh, no. yeah. It's, it's, it's the, the same boss. choice. Okay. It's, it's just flipping the reticles. Yeah. Got it. Oof. A little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> No. We doing it. Oh, oh, my oh my god. You're getting really rough RNG. This, 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 this is the best. So rough. You had, you had Yo, pretty bad RNG. That's going on. Four hits going to be bad. No. Oh, yeah, that's that's gonna gonna be bad. Oh, oh god. Good. Nice. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, Yeah, shoot. you still have to beat them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh no. Oh, Riley. No, that's it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I'm done. <laughs> GG. Oh. GG. <laughs> Wait, that what was really good, you... though. That was the yeah. first one. Oh no. Just as I planned to balance exactly that. I definitely wasn't just throwing numbers around. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> Wait. I've made it to May 8th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Wait, do we actually have? You never helped Alex overcome his fear. He's going to need months of therapy oh, after no. that. I imagine yes, May 8th, you, you yeah. just like left the town. But you it's died in his sleep. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, hey, you, we, we have been talking about raising the stakes for every chapter. <laughs> if what you die flip? in the dream world, you die in real life. Yeah. <laughs> you die in the game, you die in real All life. All of a sudden, I wake up, but I'm like a different character. Yeah. I'm like an old man across the country. <laughs> I spent <laughs> years fighting that 80 cloud. Years. <laughs> you I suddenly still... wake up. You suddenly wake up and you're Mrs. Bunman. Oh no! <laughs> well, I was gonna, I was gonna think that like you wake up but you don't know if you actually woke up, and then you spin a top. And then, <laughs> oh, and then the camera credits reception. roll. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, if is there a way to load up the save and try that boss one more time? Uh, you might be able to from the main menu. Perhaps. If you want I'll to. Try it, I'll try it like once. It. How are we on time? <laughs> it's still doing I kind of wanted to, to like do some Q&A. So if you oh, want, yeah, you yeah. start the Q&A and mm -hmm. I'll just try as yeah. we go. Yeah, I can do that. All of you oh, who stuck around to the chat, the seriously, one. thank you so much. Do you guys have any questions for us? Yeah. Any concerns? Any thoughts? Any anecdotes? Yeah. If you've got the Qs, we've got the As. We will also gladly take questions from you, from you guys at Box of Mushrooms. Oh, oh, we'll have some. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. So, so while we got um, while we got Scudo Speed here, everybody, any questions? And um, and I'll I'll start with one because I guess this is a uh, uh, artist dev to artist dev. Um, what's your favorite? Because there's a lot of different assets that go into the UI. There's the overworld kind of dream world area, and then there's all the character busts in the backgrounds. What's your favorite part to kind of put the pencil to paper and design and 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 get creative with, Katie? Right. Um, I I really like character design. I think like I really like uh reading like the the like dialogue that Sasha sends me and like thinking like hmm like what 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 do i feel like this character looks like <laughs> and then uh like trying to come up with like a good design for them and then also like, experimenting with uh like what style uh to draw the portraits in like it can be like difficult at first but i i still have a lot of fun with it i think cuz like these as as uh as my teammates know um they went through uh, several different uh, style iterations before we arrived at this one. So yeah, it was it was a a journey, but it was really fun. I you know I, um I think I'm with you on well I don't know I'm partially with you on that. 
uh, with the character designs being super fun and character busts. And yours is a, a game just like ours where the the dialogue, you can really see what the character looks like in there. And you got a bunch of wonderful emotions and yeah. um, especially Thank digging you. the intro to Alex as well. Like he, he definitely looking scared. And even, even when he's not, he's looking tired and you like learn so much about him just from the Im- initial image too. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that comes across. I'm taking notes. I want to put in that kudos as well because I just think the the sprite of him covering his eyes just takes it so so far and his always the way that his resting face is kind of like always concerned, always got that fear. I think it was such a good artistic choice. Oh yeah, I had a lot of fun with the the sprite where he's covering his face. Also, I want to call out special kudos to the fact that before this Katie didn't have a whole lot of experience drawing children. So that was part of the reason why there was a lot of iterations, but would you guys say that these children properly look like children? They some kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That's children. Yeah. Right there. It comes across for sure. Yeah. You sure as heck nailed it, man. I think I think you really have come a long way ever since the first design. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. And if I remember correctly, you were telling me one of the parts you're looking forward to the most is designing their families later, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I love character design, and I also love drawing family resemblances. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited mm-hmm. to, like, draw, like, our, our main boy's parents. Try and, to, like, Al- and Alex's yeah. mom. Right, yeah, and Alex's mom. Yeah, like, try to, like, give and them Sammy. designs where they look like they're and related. Sammy. Sammy Snowman. That's right. Sammy Snowman. <laughs> oh no, an even younger child. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really around him. <laughs> We're still kind of deciding how old Sammy should be because personally, I really enjoy um, writing chopped dialogue like a two year old. But at the same time, for plans we have for Sammy later in the game, it would make more sense for him to be a bit older. So we're considering aging him up to like three or four. And I that's kind that's of been a. Still- yeah, still, still pretty good. We have we have a, some narrative discussions ahead of us, though. Um, yeah, so Gosh, nothing that's in a, this game that's is a great safe. Phrase right there, and that's <laughs> also a good mentality. Nothing in this game is safe. Yeah, narratively, it helps a lot to be like real open to. Right, you gotta you gotta always be ready to kill your darlings. Yeah. Okay, don't like, know about killing them. Well, not that no, I no, haven't. no, 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 no. I don't mean, I don't mean the actual character. <laughs> I don't mean the actual characters. After the boss <laughs> loss. No, no, I'm not going to kill yeah. any characters. That's for me to do. Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> Sasha R. R. Martin. <laughs> Sasha R. Martin. Literally. No. See these kids right yes. here? Yeah. Don't, kill, don't kill get darling. too connected. <laughs> <laughs> no one is safe. Oh, my oh no. What have I done? <laughs> I, I'm super excited to see more of uh, Katie's uh, enemy designs, too. Oh my gosh. Me too. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I, yeah. I feel like it's obvious I had a lot of fun <laughs> with the, the enemy designs. Yeah, well, like, like I said they earlier. They just... out so much. Yeah. It's such a nice really contrast. Good. Excellent. Like I like, like, that goes with the character design thing. Like, I love drawing, like, a huge range of different characters and that like includes the enemies as well i just i just love making them as horrifying as possible you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> i, I loved actually... your guys's reaction to the the just... lightning boss yeah <laughs> yeah he's so scary and then and combining the thing is, it with a health bar and scary mechanics it's a whole lot of fun <laughs> And the thing is, like, Katie, with you making them as horrifying as possible, that is actually fully welcome here. Because even though this game is about kids, it's not necessarily for kids. We're actually marketing towards, like, the 16 to 28 age range. And that's why we're trying to trigger a nostalgia. So, like, even though the game takes place in elementary school, it's not this modern-day elementary school. It's our generation's elementary school. Which is why you won't see kids on, like, TikTok and stuff. Because it takes place in, like, 2000, 2008, 2000, 2007, something like that time. So Not a common yeah. protagonist, a uh, third grader, or or you know, uh, younger kids. I don't think, at least, unless it's like a kid show. I guess. Uh, yeah. Have you heard of the movie Mirai? It's an no. Anime no, movie. Not. Same director as uh, as Boy and the Beast uh, and Summer Wars. Wolf Children. It's probably Wolf his best. Oh, movie. I love Wolf Children. Yeah. Same director. I'm, I'm not remembering his name right now, but. It, I love his work. Um, Mirai is a movie with the main character as that is like a toddler, and I was like, 
blown away by it. It's it, this has got the similar vibe of like making a young kid a protagonist and then pitching it to adults to play or at play. least older kids. Um, well, see, initially that started with a little discussion that we don't really want to dip too much into love triangles and romances and stuff or like adult content. So that's why we kind of decided to set it in elementary school. But at the same time, that actually melds so well with the kind of thing I like to write, because I mean, as you guys know, I don't really dabble too much in adult content. But at the same time, I think if you look at so many kids shows or kids video games or kids movies and stuff, it is so possible to tell a deep story without adult content, because you can tell Mm -hmm. so much through like metaphors, like fears, you can like, like like we were talking about with Alex's arc, even though he's scared of storms, it's such a childish little thing. It's such a deep-rooted psychological trauma that talks not only to kids and how they were raised, but also to parents. And it can reach so many different people without being exceptionally like, swear word, swear word, fight, blood, or death, love, you know. Instead of focusing on those things, you just focus on the raw emotions, which is fear and innocence. <laughs> that got a little deep. Yeah, no, it's good. No, it's good. <laughs> um, yeah, I and I also, too. I also wanted to say, I feel like, um, like, uh, it, it, it's, it's like, it makes sense that that like the enemies are like really like scary, even though it's like, uh, like, like from like the child's perspective, um, because like I feel like fears like still feel like really re- real. To like kids and like kids can like uh have like really really like frightening nightmares still mm-hmm. like like things that are that scary really like exactly so, so i think it still it still feels very like like real to like child experiences because when you're a child you sometimes don't fully understand and so your brain is going to take something out of proportion like how a crack yeah or a creaking noise in the house your brain is going to go like, oh my gosh, there's a monster in here. It's the exact, it's the exact same thing, but kind of amplified because of dreams. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure all of us had really terrifying nightmares when we were younger. Yeah, exactly. Like, like your brain, even if you're a child, can like come up with some really like horrifying content. Yeah, I think some of mine I wouldn't even want to put in the game because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll share one. Hey, if anyone in the chat wants to share the scariest nightmare they ever had as a kid in elementary school, I would absolutely love to hear it. Ooh. Yeah. But we, in the meantime, ideas. I feel like one of the <laughs> one of the one of the scariest nightmares I ever had when I was actually in third grade. Actually, um, it was like this. So we had a teacher in in the dream who was having us all build marble machines for like a physics class, and she told us if your marble machine fails and you're in third grade you're fine. If you're in fourth grade, I'm going to throw you over the wall and eat you for dinner. And if you're in fifth grade, I'm going to cut off your head. Oh, so, my God. so my marble machine failed. And I just remember feeling this ultimate fear that I was going <laughs> to die. Like it was just this ultimate oh impending gosh. dread. But luckily I was in third grade, so I was fine. Then my friend's machine failed. And I literally watched the teacher throw her over the wall, catch her in her arms and then eat her. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then, awesome. and then I remember when the fifth grader failed, the machine she used to cut his head off kind of looked like a curling iron, oh. but the end was kind of like a red lip-shaped muscle. And she kind of just ran it down his neck and then his head was gone. It was the most horrifying thing I ever experienced. And I was scared to go to school after that. That's terrifying. So that was in third grade. That's... Uh, that's how scary third grade nightmares can be. And the thing is, I don't even know what could have subconsciously inspired something like this. The only thing I could think of is I might have been a little bit scared of our school's fourth grade teacher. And also, we were learning about guillotines because we were learning about the French Revolution. So that might be the two things that subconsciously inspired a dream that horrifying. Dang. Chat's a little cool. Quiet. I'm hoping that it's not the audio again. Anyway. Yeah. Still showing green, so hopefully it's yeah, it sounds oh, all right. coming I sound good. Okay. Yeah. I'm like I'm speed running this thing. Yeah. By the way. Oh yeah. Would anyone else like to share a nightmare that they had when they were in elementary school? I had one about Scooby Doo. It was scary. Scooby Doo. <laughs> no, it's just one of those things where it was like 
it looked like a video game, like a side scrolling video game. Um but uh uh for some reason I was terrified and I was like in a mine cart with Shaggy and Scooby. Yeah. I remember being so scared and then I woke up and I laughed at it. So it was <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's how nightmares cart. work. Yeah, that's that's how it works. I've also I had one where that. I like fell off my the second story of my house in the dream and then I like died. Oh yeah, everyone just... has the falling story. Yeah. Dream. But usually you wake up and then there's every once in a while you like get the impact and then you <laughs> Mm-hmm. You don't wake up. You just like are either dead or you come back as a ghost or it changes a dream or whatever. I I always wake up. That, that actually, oh yeah, that's it was weird. I did not. That's so I interesting. For a sec. I always wondered what impact? would happen. Yeah, if it just kept going. You know, I've heard about those falling dreams, but I don't think I've ever actually had one. Really? I've only had one once, but it was it was so trippy. Like I I felt like I was falling. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, and, and this is, like, when I, I I had just, like, gone to sleep, and then suddenly I was just, like, in free fall, like, I could feel it. And then, like, oh. uh, when I, like, impacted, like, it was, like, I had to fall, in, like, into my bed, and, like, all of a sudden I was awake, and I, like, jolted, like, you yeah. know, just, like, how it's, like, portrayed, like, in mm-hmm. movies, I guess. Like, mm-hmm. it was it was just, like, a movie. It was so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I get that occasionally. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, even like, now, I still have like the experience of when you're kind of drifting into sleep, and there's like some some part of your brain that controls like that sense of movement. Mm-hmm. Um, that just like makes me feel like I'm tripping for a second, and I'm not dreaming yet. That's yeah. just all like just m- motion experience in my brain. Um, and then it just like makes me feel a trip, and then I jolt. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting. I used to. Uh, oh, sorry. Sleep, no, you go first. Oh, and like uh, junior and senior year, I'd sleep in class a bit, um, and I'm like <laughs> uh, <laughs> arms and head down on the desk. But like for whatever reason, like it'd always be like five or ten minutes after I fall asleep, I would just like jolt up, like <gasps> and like <laughs> look around, <laughs> and like it'd be just super quiet because like I'd have headphones in too. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah. that like. I'd say happened almost like at least double digits. Uh, it was probably like a fifty percent chance of that happening if I fell asleep in class. It was always like a deep like, like, gas. Sorry. <gasps> <laughs> Did you ever get in trouble for that? No, it's it would always be like free time. I'll like or whatever. stare at you. <laughs> yeah. And be like, what the heck happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I feel like the closest thing I've ever quick. had to that. Wait, did you get it? I I messed it up. Oh no! Oh no! I I got oh. to the seventh day right, and then I could spend time with family or go into the dream world, and I was like, oh, that's what I was missing last time. Is like oh. I would get like a third thing from there, and so I spent time with family, and then it was just May eighth, and it was the end. And oh no! Oh, like, <laughs> oh. yeah. Rough. I think I think part of it, and and I'm sure when there's like more of a tutorial, it it will make sense. Oh yeah. Um, but part of it is me thinking like. Well, those other things I wouldn't sub for sleep, you know, like I would sleep after those things. So, mm-hmm. mm. right. Yeah. I think, I think like if, since it's just in the narrative realm right now, I was like, oh yeah, well I can spend time with family and then I can go dream. Mm-hmm. Or I'm gotcha. sure it will make me do that. So we, we point. definitely need to work on making it more clear that if you do an activity during the day, you don't end up in the dream world. Yeah. Like you're too exhausted to dream. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's Something that's like another interesting feedback. take on on how to do that. Good feedback. Good feedback. Well, anyways, that to say, I don't think I can speed run it a whole nother time. <laughs> yeah. But to well, be to there be are some cheats in, there that in a can, uh... future, there's some cheats. I don't want to expose those cheats. <laughs> oh, everybody go the, play. The Wait, does anybody the... have a link to it for if everybody wants to play through it? There's a bunch yes. more paths through oh, the yeah. game than, than what hey, I did. We also have a steep page. Oh, we also have language. a steam page that if you want to wish to list it oh. <laughs> yeah there's like console commands if you hit tilde um, that um, are very necessary for development did you um guys have any other questions for us um well I guess since you guys are going through the process of turning this into a full game i guess what's sort of your 
plan and process going to look like for that? And I guess, do you have like a release date you're looking for? Or is it just pretty early on right now? Uh, I'd say still fairly early. Um, we it's definitely fair. don't want to say anything about release date. Just yeah. uh, <laughs> not totally have to manage expectations for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're just kind of going chapter by chapter. Um, right. Right now, I'm kind of cranking out more battle mechanics so it's not just a mm. your number is bigger than mine kind of thing right. um yeah <laughs> uh and yeah sasha's working on the narrative uh, yeah on my scenes. end I've, I've, I've really been working on um expanding these characters really making them feel even more real like i mean even watching this read played back i'm still quite happy with how this demo is written i feel like the third grade vibe and like the fear themes were touched on very well but like I keep saying about how you know so much can be understood through fear and like how every character has to have like their own depth to it I've been I've been really working on making every character individually tailored and also here's the weird thing out of all of the characters the person I have the most difficult time writing for is our main character like I've got Riley down pat I've got Alex down pat and I'm really starting to get the side characters down pat but it's It's our main character that kind of gives me trouble. So I've been kind of working through what is exactly his flaw? What is his fear? And what is his relationship with his family? And the last of those is the most important thing because the family dynamic gets so much more important in the main game, not just in the real world, but in the dream world as well. Mm. Gotcha. So getting to write his parents' interaction. Writing the character that interacts with everybody is tricky. It is very tricky because it's like you got we we want to make him a protagonist who is definitely flawed, but also has it what also has a clear indicator as to why he's the leader. Why is a different character not the leader? And and at the same time, we want to force the player into the perspective of someone who's not perfect, but also is likable enough to continue. So it's kind of it's kind of a constant balancing act, like. He has flaws. He's not perfect, but he's likable. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, because a lot of JRPGs will do the silent protagonist route. Um, right. right. So yeah. we specifically Which went for, it. <clears throat> not necessarily saying that's bad or anything, but no, it's, it's a different game. way of doing it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're designing around a, a fully yeah. fleshed. Uh, yeah, someone who's not a self insert, more of like a. Exactly. Yeah. And there's definitely like games for yeah. that and reasons uh right yeah sure. we're we're also doing that with our our game someone who like has their own personality yeah, um, yeah, yeah. that you're like you're experiencing their story not the other way around yeah mm-hmm. yeah same time it's almost like through the choices you make you can take aspects of our main character's personality and kind of decide which one of them is the stronger kind of like with the poetry choice like you can decide do you want to make him a serious little poet or a class clown he has the capability for both so which route do you want to pursue mhm it's really good GDC talk about this. There's actually a few, but they, uh, but just the idea of like how disconnected the, do the choices make you from the character? Or how connected, or where does it differ? How much allowance do you give them to to go off the path? Exactly, and it's like it's it's the it's it's a it's definitely a difficult balance but mm-hmm. as long as everything makes sense cohesively within the story and as long as like the audience is willing to like suspend their disbelief long enough to just really get in this character's shoes i think that's the main thing as long as the character's actions make sense within their own personality then it should be pretty easy for the audience to like adapt to that mindset link to the talk josh Copart. Yeah. There you go. It's only a part of the talk, but I liked his beat on it. We'll be uh uh we'll be definitely swapping narrative uh I don't know, feed feedbacks or, or just just uh talking narrative design yeah, in the future yeah. as we get into the weeds of, of it all. Absolutely. As you guys do. Yeah. Uh I think we're in rough de- draft mode for a while. Uh, Honestly, yeah. same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same. Been... yours also has like a non-linearity to it too, so that becomes a little difficult when you're planning yeah. out narrative stuff too. Yeah, we've been kind of like code of, or developing in parallel. Um, it's actually been kind of working out well, um, but there's a lot of iteration that'll happen because of it. Um, 
Oh yeah. It's funny what you put in temp sometimes. It's like, wait, but like it just becomes part of the DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been uh it's been fun. Uh, I've definitely like do not have experience in developing a uh RPG. Um <laughs> so it's been a very fun challenge. Yeah, that's cool. Super stoked to else. see yeah, Ho- yeah, yeah. hopefully hopefully the next time we do a uh, mushroom chat with Scudo Speed in regards to race car bed, it'll be like a a whole nother thing, whole nother iteration. And I'll yeah. actually, you know, or whoever's playing that's not me, that's a good gamer <laughs> can, that can count days <laughs> uh, till March 8th. Actually, they don't need to be a good gamer. They need to be good at looking at a calendar. But <laughs> hopefully the cl- calendar will be clear too. By then. Uh, I think it's pretty clear. But I did <laughs> see that mar- when I was speed running, I was pressing spacebar pretty quickly. So yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think I think that's good to call it. We went on for a good while. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on the yeah, Box for having us. Games Twitch. Yeah. Definitely. Again. Every, every, everybody who stuck in the chat, who left your notes, who watched, I really hope you had a good time. We really, really appreciate all the support. Go check out that game on itch, and there's a link for the Steam page so you can wishlist it up above. I, I posted it. Fish yeah. keys, and, I posted it. And mushrooms, thank you as always for hosting hosting us. Like yeah, absolutely. Yeah, together with you guys, you. Yeah. always such a blast. I know. We need a chance to interview you guys. Absolutely, yeah. we um, we need to play your most yeah. recent um uh, bo- um build of bo- uh, demo of a uh, uh, gazelle. Or your most recent oh, showable. Actually, um, so we're we're developing a demo. We we could not whip one out as fast as you three. You're amazing. Yeah. Um, but uh, but uh-huh. we actually plan to release a demo. Um, I think we're aiming for like still technically winter next year. That that kind of time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want a winter coat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> like when that's ready, we will totally totally play it and talk about it. Oh, I'm so stoked. There's I'm so there. ready to see the narrative love, unfold for that. Yes. I'd love to hear some voices. <laughs> yeah. I'd love oh. to hear Miss Bunbutt voice uh, character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch Mrs. <laughs> Bunbutt voice Renee. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think it'd be even funnier if, if uh, Bunbutt voiced Lil Bro. <laughs> Little That's bro. little bro oh right there gosh. in the bottom right. That is standing next and, to Renee. And then Renee voiced was voiced by Mr. Nezer. That would make <laughs> sense, actually. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I would dig that. Okay, well we can end it, but also uh uh we can we can raid to someone and Wait, there is uh, a uh a an Instagram account bud of mine that also streams pixel art who is developing games as well um antidote studios uh which i will post soon unless somebody has a specific specific, go go uh, for it no yeah plan that i'm just like stomping all over but uh antidote studios is is a fellow game dev on instagram that i i run the gazelle instagram so i've met some some folks there yeah, yeah. Uh, I say give them give 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 our full support. Yeah, let's like support. crowd on over to a bunch of pixels. Uh, yeah, that's and, good. Until next time for uh, uh what are, what are we calling the Scudo Speed Box of Mushrooms meetups? Like something clever. Box of snails. Box of snails. You know, <laughs> I have, I did not imagine any better an, an answer. I love that. Yeah. yeah box of snails. Box of snails. I'll box make sure snails. to draw a box of snails. Actually, actually, maybe Katie, you should draw a box of snails. <laughs> oh, I can totally Katie, you do should, that. Katie, you should draw a okay. box of snails, and every snail has like has has our, has our defining features. So, like mine has pigtails. Oh, oh gosh. Oh yeah. my. Yeah. And okay. call it that's cargo. Photo realistic too. Oh like, no. Yeah. Con- um, concept art level, like totally. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta I'm Photoshop so... their faces in and blend them in. Sounds oh, that horrifying. would be horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> that would be something. That'd be material from a third grade nightmare. Yeah, that'd be that nightmare really fuel. <laughs> or an adult nightmare, to be honest. Yeah, just nightmare in yeah, general. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well. All right. I'm getting it going. Off the raid.
Goodbye, um, everybody. Yeah, thanks everyone who's still here for tuning in. Um, yeah. We will do this again before too long. I hope. Oh, shout out before we leave. Josh Colpart's also making a game. So yes. go follow oh, Josh yeah. on Twitch. Please follow him and play his game. Maybe we do out. a box of mushrooms talks with, with, with Josh Colpart at some yeah, point. That'd jo be fun. Mm -hmm. Josh yeah, Colpart. yeah. That'd be awesome. Fellow yeah, game just... devs online. Okay, cool. Game dev let's let's crowd on over great. to Anadose Studios and say hello with enthusiasm and mushrooms and snails. We'll talk. All right, let's do it. See y'all later. See ya. Bye. 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 Okay. Are we? We're off. We should be off. I know we yeah, rated. Did you stop the stream?